A live look at the U.S. Capitol where a Senate hearing with two of America's most senior intelligence officers explored a dizzy array of threats emanating from every corner of the globe. They include hostile nation states with weapons of mass destruction, more health crises, extreme weather events and cyber crimes. Here's national correspondent James Rosen. Just about every sentence at Thursday's Senate Armed Services hearing on worldwide threats was terrifying. China's chemical infrastructure and Russia's pharmaceutical-based agents program can provide those nations with chemical and biological capabilities. North Korea also poses a serious challenge. Since mid-2019, it has tested dozens of missiles, including three types of new short-range ballistic missiles and a new sea-launched ballistic missile. Ecological degradation and a changing climate will continue to fuel disease outbreaks, threaten food and water security, exacerbate political instability and humanitarian crises. China's leaders see their country as a rising power, the U.S. in decline. And though the People's Liberation Army is rapidly expanding its conventional and nuclear forces, Beijing is not interested in war with the U.S., according to America's top spies. They are increasingly perceiving it as a zero-sum game. China believes that the United States is trying to check China's rise and in that context is countering from their perspective again what they perceive to be our influence and our efforts in this area. Why do you think the PLA is so rapidly building up its nuclear arsenal? In the span of capabilities that they have, the nuclear piece has been one component. It has been a priority for them. And, and I think they have racked and stacked that in the things that they think that they need to get done by 2030 or 2035. And so I think uh, they have accelerated this as a, as a deterrent, quite honestly. In his address to Congress Wednesday evening, President Biden said the U.S. and China are competing to win the 21st century. That means making sure every nation plays by the same rules in the global economy, including China. Director Haynes said climate change has such an enormous impact on all the different kinds of threats the U.S. faces that she is presently, quote, figuring out how to integrate climate science and analysis across the board at America's 18 intelligence agencies. On Capitol Hill, James Rosen.